Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm back down here in Southern Illinois and I'm at a place called Camp Cadiz. Uh, it got kind of late in the day and I was bored and so I thought I'd run down and do a little looking around. Uh, it's the end of March. I'm starting to see where morel mushrooms are popping up in the Shawnee. So I thought I'd come down and give it a look. Don't know if I'm gonna find any or not, but I'm gonna look around. And I thought I'd pick a place that I could show you guys about that very little people know of. Uh, so I'll flip you around and we'll get started. Okay, so Camp Cadiz, what it is, is it's just a, a campground, and it's it's kind of a primitive campground because there's no electricity that I'm aware of, um, but, I mean, there's there's places for campers. So, uh, if, it's, if that's something you guys are, like, self-contained, uh, want to come down with a camper, then this would be a good place. You do have to pay, uh, and I'm not sure, I don't see a drop box. I'm sure there's one here, it's probably right there uh that post right in the center you would put your money in an envelope and drop that in there uh, there's probably not going to be anybody come around and check you out but karma will keep an eye on you so it's best to go ahead and pay now the great thing about camp cadiz is it's right in the middle of pounds hollow rim rock garden of the gods and the iron furnace um and i'm sure it's pretty inexpensive but uh we'll check it out before we leave see just how much it is but they got these old fireplaces uh be kind of cool sitting around here in the summertime you know your lawn chairs have a campfire in there watch the fire go uh there is a bathroom it looks fairly new and well maintained but it i don't think it has running water uh and then the i don't know there's how many pads there are here but we'll just check it out and we'll let you know that too so i'm going to walk around and see if I can't find some mushrooms or deer shed antlers and we'll keep you posted. So it is $10. There's the envelopes. There's the drop box. It's that simple. And this is right where you'd come in right there. Stop right here. Um, probably right on the envelope where, what site you're using. Now a while last time I was here and it's been several years ago there was information on that on that sign about the story of Camp Cadiz. And I don't remember it, but if anyone does, please feel free to comment down in the comments and fill us all in. Okay, so these guys right here, um, those are going to be flowers. I would like to see what those will do. You'll see them, they'll come up and they'll have a yellow or a white flower on top of them. And what those are, some people call them Easter lilies, but those are daffodils, uh, either's fine. Um, but yeah, I would like to see some flowers on that. It means the ground's a little bit warmer and more likely to find mushrooms. I need a warmer ground temperature. So here's some here that did have flowers. Looks like the frost probably got them last night. Uh, but that's a good sign that the ground has been warmer here. And I've seen some more, I've seen something back out in there. Um, they had some flowers. So I'm going to take a good look right here. Um, I, I believe the ground's warmer right here because it's open. It's able to get to sunlight. So with all these dead trees, this would be a good place to see some mushrooms. Okay, guys, so that's the River River Trail right there. You see the marker. And then this is Camp Cadiz right here. You see the, the marker right there on the tree. I'll zoom you in there. All right, so the trail goes right on through Camp Cadiz. Uh, I just finished walking all the way around the, the camp. There are eight campsites and that you could park a camper at. But I think you could, you know, tent camp just about anywhere as long as you weren't crowding on somebody. And then uh, one thing that's becoming very popular is uh, hammock camping. And I like to do that. You may have seen me do that in some of my videos. Uh, but this place would be great for that. There are trees everywhere. So, uh, so this is Camp Cadiz. If you ever get a chance, get on down here and check it out. There's a lot of places, like I said, around here that you could check out while you were camped here. Uh, and it's for 10 bucks. So I don't think you can beat that. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to hike the River to River Trail from here to Carver's Ridge Road. So I'll put a link to that separate video down in the description if you want to check that out. 
We thank you all for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.